Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss one more approach for parallel execution. This approach does not use the concept of async programming, rather than it's an approach which is entirely based on the configuration. So first, I am going to download the sample configuration from MSDN website and customize it accordingly. So this is the website from where I am going to download the sample configuration. The same website will have the description about each configuration being used inside the file. As you can see here, there are a lot of configuration present inside the file and some of them is not needed in the current scenario. So I'm going to just remove it. Second thing is that you need to save this file with the extension as dot run settings. Only then Visual Studio will able to recognize it as a configuration file. So under the run configuration, the first configuration is max CPU count. This represents the number of core on your system. In my case, there are four, so I will change it to four. So the second configuration that is target platform represents the bit version of your operating system. It can be 64 bit or it can be 32 bit. Now same configuration can also be specified via Visual Studio. So test and from here you can select. As we are using MS test adapter for running our test, so we need to specify the configuration over here. Now for the MS test, I'm going to use one more link which will describe how to specify the configuration when you want to run the test in parallel. So this is the URL which contain information about what is the configuration you need to specify for MS test adapter in the run setting file. So I'm going to use this configuration and put it here. So there are different level at which you can achieve parallelism. In our case, I will go with the method level. Now, once this is done, save this file. So in the Visual Studio, from the test menu, select settings file and specify your dot run settings file. After that, build the solution and run the test. So in our case, the number of worker thread which I have specified is four and the scope is method level. That means four test method will get executed in parallel. So as you can see here, the test execution has started and at a point four test method are being executed in parallel. And that is because the configuration which we specify inside the dot run settings file. 